So my injuries were from college cheerleading, uh, probably just wear and tear over the years. I had a herniation in my neck at C4 and 5. I had a lot of pain down my shoulders and my arms tingling. Uh, by the end of the day, I mean, I was just wanting, you know, some kind of relief. She couldn't sit for a long period of time. She couldn't stand for a long period of time. She couldn't do anything physical that she liked to do. And over the years, she just started dropping out one thing after another, after another, after another. I got to the point um, with these injuries that I, I started getting nervous about my future because I started doing research on this and there's so many things that you can lose function um, in your lower extremities. So I was very nervous not to do something with this. I felt like I needed to get it done now rather than wait any longer uh, to, for this to progress any further. I had gone and got two other opinions from doctors that I had been referred to by some friends. Um, and every time I left those meetings, I was in tears because they were telling me I needed two or three different levels fused, and that's not what I wanted to do at the age of 40. I wanted something that was going to be um, a little bit more advanced than that. I wanted to be able to do all my activities and everything and I not have to worry about sur surgeries further on. So once I found Dr. Geyer, I uh, met with him and I just felt like his humble opinion and being able to go to the team, he took all my information to the team and met with them to go over everything. That just re reaffirmed me that he was the correct person for me. She presented with both a neck and a back problem, but because her neck problem showed that she had a spinal cord compression and she was beginning to display signs and symptoms of pressure on the spinal cord, we decided that we would treat that first and then address her low back. The neck was probably the most serious of the um, injuries just because it was pressing on my spinal column. I had evaluated her and as much as we wanted to do an artificial disc, this is one of those indications where you don't do it. I was afraid that I'd have to remove so much bone that I wouldn't have enough stability to do an artificial disc. So for a single level uh, fusion, not a bad thing, not ideal. We would have liked to do an artificial disc, but we had to do what's best for the patient. And once I could heal from that, then we could address my back. I think we waited about three months before doing anything for her low back. Uh, because we want one area to completely heal before we then cause surgical trauma to another. So we evaluated her in her low back. She had single level disease. Uh, she didn't have any of the problems that she had in the cervical spine, so I thought she was an ideal candidate for disc replacement in the lumbar spine. So after all of the surgeries, I'm able to do all the activities I want to do. There are still some things that I am kind of apprehensive to do so I do modify some of the activities that I do not a lot of jumping not a lot of you know um, hard impact but I still am able to get my heart rate up and do all the activities and fun workouts that I like to do so it's been wonderful she's back to exercising she's physically fit and uh, as you know when you exercise you create endorphins endorphins make you feel good so the gratifying from a thing for me is to see her get back her life, and that's really the whole purpose of the surgery that we do, get them back to their life. This is something that now I don't have to do any uh, um, medication or any kind of pills to help me get through the day. I'm able to have you know, normal functioning life, and it's been a new kind of renewing of my life and my spirit, I guess, so. If you've been told that you need a fusion, you should do a little bit of research. Google's great. You have to take it into your own hands and be your own advocate and seek out a surgeon that does artificial discs because not everybody's trained in it. And if you're not trained in it, you're not gonna have much knowledge about it and you're probably not gonna recommend it. Once you've decided that you want another opinion, then you have to ask, ask that doctor if he has any experience in artificial disc. And if he says no, ask him if he can recommend somebody. If he can't recommend somebody, do a little Google search and you'll find lots of, lots of sources for one.